This is a tale of two brothers, the brothers Galbraith, Warren and Robert. They were raised in the river town of Wheeling, West Virginia. Both grew up wanting to be in a profession of healing, Warren healing the mind and Robert healing the body. Warren's path led him to social work and Robert's path to exercise physiology, and both paths converged on the campus of Ohio University Eastern. I felt as if it was my passion to bring the program, uh, the social work program, to the regional campuses and to um, Belmont County so that um, students who could not travel to Athens for their undergraduate degree could get their four-year degree right here on the regional campuses. You know, it's, it's interesting because I, uh, when I talk to my daughter and, or other people and ask what they want to want to be, people don't usually know. I always knew that I wanted to do uh, exercise-related uh, research and teaching. And so from the time I entered undergraduate, um, that's what I did. Warren is the coordinator of OUE's social work program, and it has prospered under his guidance. OU students appear to be the most prepared to go out into the field. Uh, they are uh, very good with uh, their paperwork, and uh, they have the passion that's needed. Daryl Johnson returned from Iraq on a tour of duty that left him injured. He worked as an intern at Cambridge Counseling Center and was hired on full-time before he graduated. I was in the service for 12 years. I had uh, gotten hurt in Iraq and I had some problems and when I got out, I was trying to get services and stuff like that. And I see a, a major need for that stuff in this area. So it was like, to me, it was the only way to go, was to go into social work to help people that needed it. Shannon Watson graduated from OU Eastern with a bachelor's and later returned to complete her master's of social work there as well. I, because I am so passionate about social work, I was very picky um, when I chose my undergrad and my graduate degree um, in Ohio University and I've had the opportunity to work with a lot of different colleges and a lot of different professors and students from different colleges um, and to me Ohio University is by far the highest quality social work program. Um, the standards that they set for their for their students um, from academ academic requirements through internship is superior in my opinion to, um, to other programs that I've had the opportunity to work with. Um, I'm a huge advocate for the, the, the social work program at Ohio University. Watson's intern, Nicole Lewis, was given many responsibilities because of her preparedness in the OUE social work program. I learned many different aspects of the profession from administrative to um, the case management aspects to fundraising. Um, writing, my writing skills have gotten a lot better. So it was a very well-rounded experience. Leslie Vazilaris directs Harmony House that helps mentally and physically abused children. She is an advocate of the OUE social work program. Harmony House is a very small, small nonprofit. Uh, we have two centers, one serving the West Virginia side and one over here serving Belmont County, but we only have four full-time and a part-time staff person between the two centers. So the, having the person come to learn is wonderful, but also to be able to use their skills in the process of them having an educational experience, it's just, I can't even put a value on it. Harmony House's intern, Jessica Hartley, wrote a successful grant there was an assignment for one of the practice classes to do um, a grant proposal and I actually had the opportunity to write a real grant for Harmony House. Um, it was through the Community Foundation for the Ohio Valley and it was to get money for the agency to be able to implement a sexting education program in the local schools. Robert Galbraith and the Exercise Physiology program has a high success rate for its students that move on to graduate programs. When I graduated from graduate school, I started working at a hospital, local hospital, and I worked in research and cardiac rehab, um, and then went on to teach in the physical therapy department in another university. Um, so I knew what it took to be, um, for the students to be in there, and um, uh, the work that they need to do. So when I came here, I tried to mimic some of that teaching, uh, where it's an evidence-based type of program, and, uh, and it seems to benefit them a lot when they go from our program into a, a doctoral program. Um, if you're looking to go to physical therapy school or PA school, it'd definitely be worth it. The teachers are really dedicated 
and I feel like I'm fully prepared to go to Ohio University for physical therapy school this summer. Um, my coursework here at Ohio University Eastern was very challenging. You know, a lot of people will say that branch campuses aren't quite as challenging or difficult. Well, they're in for a rude awakening if they were to take the classes here. It was very challenging. Actually, the coursework here was more challenging than my doctorate in physical therapy. Um, it's the intro to everything in life and sciences in general, and it's a very challenging concept. And I passed with flying colors on my boards, and now I have a doctorate in PT, and I use it every day. Josh Piles is an alumnus of the Exercise Phys program, and he's now head of a training facility and strength and conditioning coach for Wheeling Jesuit University. We have over 138 uh, student athletes, um, and having a strong physiology-based background helped me really evolve these programs, you know, just not from the physical aspect of it, but for also from a physiology standpoint. This tale of two brothers has one major similarity, and that's the passion that Warren and Robert have in seeing their students succeed. It's great to watch them um, come into the program, and some of them, they, they tell you they want to be physical therapists, or they want to work in a fitness center or something like that, and, then, uh, uh, and, and sometimes they even struggle right at the beginning, and uh, you stick with them, and you push them, and uh, they push themselves, and. And then when they, you, you finally, they graduate and then they move on and they go to graduate school and they come back with their like a doctoral degree, it, it's the greatest feeling in the world. I got goosebumps in the back of my head, in my hair, just thinking about those graduates because um, they, are, um, they are a unique group of individuals that are ready to go out there and help um, those less fortunate. Um, in Southeast Ohio. And I feel real good that I, f I really feel as if I've, was, I've been a part of their lives, helping shape them to become good social workers.